everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Emily. I'm a mom who loves home decor, thrifting, and a good DIY project. As you guys are well aware, a lot of us are inside and staying home these days and maybe weeks to come. I just wanted to share a really fun little craft that you guys can do with your kids. This is Montessori inspired. It is the DIY peg people. It's great for open-ended play. So it's very, very simple. It's really just painting, but you guys can get these peg people off of Amazon or you can get them at Michael's, but I think Amazon has some really great prices, especially if you're not wanting to go into stores. If you're not already, feel free to follow me on Instagram at emilyfaith22. Let's jump right into this fun little peg people tutorial. For supplies, you're going to need some peg people. These are from Michaels, but I'll link some from Amazon. And then you're going to need a variety of paint. This is hunter green, beach glass, terracotta, cashmere tan, warm white, flesh, and white. And then you're gonna need some paint brushes. So the first thing we're going to do is paint. Well, really this whole tutorial is painting, but I'm just gonna show you guys step by step. So I'm using this like flesh colored, I think it's kind of like a peachy color. And we first paint the bottom of all of the peg people. Now I'm going to take this beach glass color. It's kind of like this bluey green. It's really pretty. And I'm going to paint the bottom of this boy. And I actually paint so slow when I'm doing this because I'm not a very like careful painter, if that makes sense. So I have to like try really hard when I paint. Now I'm going to be using this cashmere tan color. It's just kind of like this nice brown. And I'm going to be painting the bottom of the little boy. And now I will take this terracotta color and I'm actually going to mix the terracotta color because I find it's a little like strong with this warm white. Mix it together to get kind of this really pretty pinky terracotta color and paint this little girl. Once you've painted all of their bodies or clothes, we're going to create some hair. So this first color I used was really, really light, but it was kind of like that tan color. I actually chose not to paint the skin at all. I just left it the nice wood. And basically for the hair, I just kind of create a nice shape at the front. So this one I did like a bunch of U's, almost like she had curly hair and then filled the rest in. This girl, I did like a swooping bang <laughs> and then just drew on some sides. And then you basically just fill the rest of the head in. For the boys, I tried to do like little points. <laughs> I don't, I'm not good with like these terms, but just little lines basically, almost like scruffy hair at the front. <laughs> I did my best. And then yeah, just fill the rest in once you have the front hairline. The last step in this process is to do some fun little dot eyeballs. So I tried to do them like way on the sides of their heads. I think that gives it a cute look. So I used a really thin brush and did some little dotted eyes. Oh yeah, and finally you do add some Mod Podge. If kids are going to be playing with these, you want them to last a little longer, just slop that Mod Podge on, it dries clear. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that 
you enjoyed today's peg people craft. I had really fun making these for my son and he had fun painting them with me as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked today's video, feel free to give it a thumbs up so you guys can subscribe. For more of my everyday life, you can follow me on Instagram at emilyfaith22. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.